Hey, I'm CNET's Ryan Christ, and I'm here not with the world's lamest lightsaber, but actually with a new light bulb. This is the GE Brightstick LED, and you can see it's not really a bulb at all. It's actually more of a lipstick tube shaped cylinder that shines out light in all directions and under a lampshade looks more or less the same as the old bulbs. Now aside from the shape, what's really interesting about this light is the price point. GE is going to be selling them in three packs at Home Depot for $10 each and that's a very good deal if you've been waiting to upgrade the lights in your home. That price puts this light right on par with the new Philips 60 watt replacement LED. That's a $5 LED you can get at Home Depot and right now they're selling it at two for one pricing but that'll expire soon. This GE price, the three for $10, isn't going anywhere so within a month or so it's gonna be the cheapest LED you can get from a major manufacturer. Now I was pretty happy with this bulb when I tested it out. It's a little bit dimmer than you might like at 786 lumens but probably not quite enough to notice. Close enough to 800 that you'll be happy with it. It's got a nice color temperature at 27 700K, and you can also get daylight versions at the same price, so there's two options there, one that's orange and one that's kind of blue. One caveat though, this bulb isn't dimmable, so if you try and dial the lights down on a dimmer switch, you'll get a lot of flicker and buzz. You don't want that. Now it's not quite as good as that Philips bulb in brightness or efficiency. The Philips bulb has about an extra 50 lumens, again a very tough distinction to notice, and also better efficiency. The Philips bulb uses 8.5 watts, this is a 10 watt bulb, so the Philips bulb in the long run is going to cost slightly less to use, about 20 cents less per year in energy costs. That said, this GE Brightstick does have a couple of edges over Philips. It has a longer warranty at five years, Philips gives you three, and also a longer lifespan, 15,000 hours compared to the 10,000 hours or so that you'll get out of that Philips bulb. I also like that despite the odd shape, it still casts plenty of downward reading light, so if you wanted to read under this thing, you'll have no problem. All in all, at about three bucks a bulb, this is a pretty terrific value, and if you've been waiting to upgrade the lights in your home and looking for a good option to do a lot at once, this might be the exact thing you're looking for. Thanks for watching. Check out the rest of our LED reviews and smart home coverage at CNET.com. For CNET Appliances, I'm Ryan Christ.